Okay guys, so we're gonna take a few minutes and talk about anatomical terminology. Um, please excuse the surroundings. The lab is being used right now, so we're gonna make the video in my office. Um, anatomical terminology is the technical language that we use in the sciences, like in anatomy and physiology, as well as in the medical field. And this gives us one consistent language so that scientists and educators and healthcare practitioners can communicate clearly about the body, all using the same scientific language. Um, now what this means for you is that you have to memorize completely new terms for the different body parts. For example, um, this is no longer your nose, this is nasal, and this is not your eye, this is orbital or ophthalmic. Um, so we'll utilize all of these new terms when we talk about the different body parts. We also have directional terms. Um, so for example, instead of superior, um, or instead of up, you have superior. Instead of down, you have inferior. So we'll go through those as well today. Let's start with the anatomical regions and parts. Um, this, instead of your head, is now cephalic. So the entire head region is referred to as cephalic. Now we can split that up into cranial and facial. Cranial refers to the skull, which is the cranium. So that's from your eyebrows and then back around the back of your head. This whole section is cranial. Now we can split that up into frontal, meaning the very front here where your forehead is. And then occipital is the back, back here, the very back of your head. Um, and learning these terms is gonna help you guys out later when you do the bones because the names often correspond to the bones that are underneath. So for example, this is your frontal bone, this is your occipital bone. We'll also see that um, very frequently with the blood vessels and nerves as well. So it's helpful to really memorize and learn these terms. Again, your head is cephalic, the skull is cranial, right here your forehead is frontal, the back of the skull is occipital. Um, then when we look at the facial region, um, we can break the facial region up into different sections. So where your nose is here, this is nasal. Um, the eye is orbital or ophthalmic. The mouth is oral. The cheeks are buccal. The ear is otic. Okay, so nasal, buccal, um, orbital, oral, otic. Uh, your chin also is mental. So the chin is referred to as mental. Then when you look at the neck region, the neck is referred to as cervical. That correlates with the seven vertebrae that go down your neck. Those are your cervical vertebrae. Um, and think about like that big white collar that you wear when you hurt your neck. That's a cervical collar um, because the neck region is cervical. Then we get down to the chest. And from um, like your bottom ribs or from where your diaphragm muscle is, up this whole region is thoracic. So the chest is referred to as thoracic. Now right here in the very center of the chest, this is sternal. Um, your breastbone right here is your sternum. So right in the center is sternal. And then where the breasts are, that is mammary. Um, or you can always or also call that pectoral. The muscles right here are the pectoralis muscles. Um, so you could refer to that as pectoral. So thoracic sternal, pectoral. If you go from the diaphragm down, this region is the abdominal region. Your abdomen is abdominal. And then right where your belly button or navel is, that is umbilical. That's where the umbilical cord attaches in the fetus. Um, so we refer to the belly button as umbilical. Down below the abdomen, so this region right here is pelvic, right inside your pelvis or hips, um, is pelvic. Where the genitals are located is pubic, and then the hips are coxal. Finally, this little crease right here, like where you fold your leg over, the crease between um, your pelvic area and your leg, is called inguinal, inguinal or iliac. Okay, so abdominal, pelvic, pubic, umbilical, coxal is the hips, and then inguinal or iliac is the fold. If we look at, um, let's do the back really quick. So looking at the back, 
going down the center of your back where your spine is, that's vertebral, right? Where all of your vertebrae are is vertebral. Looking at right here where your shoulder blade is, that is scapular. Your shoulder blade is called the scapula. So where you can feel that, um, that kind of wing pop up back here, that is scapular. And then the lower back region is lumbar. Um, and the bottom five vertebrae that you have are your lumbar vertebrae. Okay, so down here is lumbar. Cervical, um, vertebral is straight down the back. Lumbar is the lower back. And scapular is up here where your scapula is or your shoulder blade. If we look at the arm, um, so right here, okay, the very kind of top of your shoulder right here is called a chromial. There's a process there called the acromion process. So that's where that term is coming from. Um, you'll see that when we do the skeletal system. But right here is a chromial. You'll also see the shoulder region called deltoid. And um, that's your deltoid muscle. Your large shoulder muscle is your deltoid muscle. So a chromial, you could call this deltoid. The upper arm is brachial. The lower arm is anti-brachial. That's A-N-T-E. So brachial, antibrachial. When you look at the elbow, the entire elbow is referred to as cubital. And then the front um, of the elbow here is antecubital. The back of the elbow is olecranol with an O, olecranol. Um, again, when we look at the skeletal system, you'll see that there's an olecranon process here. That's where the term is coming from. So brachial, antibrachial cubital, antecubital, olecranol. Um, when we get down to the wrist, the wrist is referred to as carpal. Again, you have eight carpal bones in each wrist. Um, when you type too much, uh, the disorder that you can get is carpal tunnel. That's referring to the wrist. So the wrist is carpal. The hands are referred to as manus. Um, and you can think of that like when you do something manually, you're doing it by hand. The hands are manus. The back of the hand is the dorsum of the hand. And then the palm of the hand is referred to as palmer. Okay, that's pretty easy. Palmer is the palm. Then the fingers are digital. You'll see the fingers and toes are always the same. Um, they're both referred to as, as digital. You'll also see phalangeal. Um, Either term is fine. I think our manual says digital. Excuse me. Uh, what did I forget? Oh, also the underarm is axillary. Okay, so the shoulder is deltoid. Right here is a chromial. The underarm is axillary. Upper arm is brachial. Lower arm is antebrachial. The elbow is cubital. Antecubital, olecranon. Carpal. Manus is the hand, the dorsum of the hand is the back, palmer refers to the palm, and then digital or phalangeal um, is the fingers. So then that brings us down to the legs. Um, the butt is gluteal, yeah, that's your gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, gluteus minimus. Um, so the, the butt is gluteal. Then the thigh is femoral. The bone in your upper thigh is called the femur. Um, and that's where that term is correlating, so femoral. And then um, the knee, we name the front of the knee patellar. That's where your patella is, your kneecap is your patella. So the front of the knee is patellar. The back of the knee is popliteal. Um, and memory is those kind of together, like patellar in the front, popliteal in the back. Then you get to your lower leg, your shin. So the front of your lower leg here is crural with a C, C-R-U-R-A-L, crural. The back of where your calf is, is sural with an S. So crural in the front, sural in the back. The outer or lateral edge of your leg is fibular. Okay, so femur or femoral, patellar, popliteal, crural, fibular, sural in the back. Um, the ankle is tarsal, okay, so carpal is the wrist, tarsal is the ankle. Um, <clears throat> the foot itself is pedal, 
makes sense. You pedal with your feet, right, on the bike. Um, <clears throat> the heel is calcaneal. The bone is the calcaneus. Um, so the heel is calcaneal. And then the bottom of the foot is planter, right? Like you plant your foot. The bottom of the foot's planter. And then the toes, again, I said are digits. Um, so you call that digital or phalangeal works as well. Okay, so femoral, patellar, popliteal, curl, fibular, sural, tarsal, the foot is pedal, planter is the bottom, calcaneal is the heel. Uh, hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, let me know.